Hello, Scorpio. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's showing up for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Get clarity. Missing you. Receiving a message. One more, please. Pay attention to the details. Vulnerable. Okay. Under the deck, it says karma. Let me take that, too. All right, so get clarity about something. You're going to receive a message about somebody who could be missing you. They could be feeling vulnerable. vulnerable. I have a hard time with that word right now. Or that could be you. But pay attention to the details of the message of what they're saying or how they're acting. Under the deck, again, is karma. So says it says renewal. This says feeling rejected, withholding, and then it says karma. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Let's go to the tarot and see if that shows up. All right. Messages for Scorpio. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. Or the, I should say the situation is Ace of Cups. How you are feeling. Ace of Coin. Nice. How the other person in the situation is feeling. The Fool. Okay. Good. What is the Ace of Cups energy? Yeah, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. So some of you, this could be obviously someone coming straight in for you. Look at, you're also under the deck. So, wow, with the Ace of Cups under here. Listen to your intuition. With Look at, back here. But listen to your intuition. There could be new love coming in and a relationship, Scorpio, for you. It could be another water sign or someone who is in love with you. What is the Ace of Coin? Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Okay. This may be you... Okay. If it's Ace of Coin, either someone is offering this job, you're beating the competition. This may be an interview. You may be waiting with the Four of Swords. If it is you, you're going after whatever you want. Five of Swords. Uh, you're resting. You're waiting for this opportunity. Like It's like when you interview and you have to wait, possibly. The person has the Fool energy in this also. Seven of Swords, the Ace of Coin, and the Magician. Let me do one more. What are they manifesting? Temperance. So I don't know if there's two people here or three people here or more because the fool, I don't know if this is King of Cups. It could be, it could be that they are giving you an offer, the Seven of Swords, no one knows, or there's somebody else. All right. Why is this happening? What else do we need to know? I'm not sure quite what's going on here, Scorpio. Oh, King of Cups is showing up again. Who is the King of Cups? We have the Star card, the Queen of Coin, the Nine of Coins, and the Four of Wands. Okay. Well, there's a lot of coins here. So I'm thinking this could be you, Scorpio, holding this coin. It sounds like you're demanding this coin. And it could be you got it. You're sitting here with it. Okay. I think you're the Queen of Swords. You probably are the Queen of Coin too also. But I kind of feel like some of you... Someone is missing you. Someone is vulnerable. Someone might give you whatever you want. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords. It's almost like you gave someone an ultimatum. I don't know if this is you or this could be somebody else around you in the situation. There's a lot of people showing up already. There's a couple queens here. Uh, one of these may not be you because I usually can read one as you, but two, when they start showing up, three, usually there's other people. So I'm not sure. But there's like someone secretly is giving the coin. You want the coin. Someone's demanding that they get either a marriage, um, money, they get something. Someone is giving that coin. Someone is doing that. It looks like it's this King of Cups. And, and so I think this may be you sitting here as the Queen of Coin, looking at the coin. This is what you want. Now, I don't know necessarily if you're getting this, but someone is hoping for this lifestyle, this security, this happiness, Nine of Coins. Now, this definitely could be you, obviously. But So someone may be vulnerable, missing you, thinking you're moving on. Well, who's this King of Cups? Let me go back up here. Six of coins, the king of coins, the five of swords, and the ten of coins. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There, I think there's two people. There may be two people here after you, Scorpio. There may be like, let's just say an earth sign and a water sign. The, the water sign wants to win. 
that maybe the five of swords because I'm seeing them giving you money so they win out or or they win over other people in general. They may be giving you money or lavish lifestyle, whether you want it or not, to keep you. Is what I'm seeing here. Because you have vulnerable again, so it's again like they want to make sure that they don't lose you. Only thing is, why do we have temperance though? Are they coming through with their promise? This may be someone who gives a lot of money, but not really a lot of attention. And again, the King of Cups may be somebody else. What is the temperance card? I hope this isn't confusing. Hanged man, the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Chariot. See, but look at, they have the Seven of Swords, right? So this is liar, cheater, faker, giving the Ace of Coins, but now they're seeing something different. They won, and now they're taking off with the, two of, with the Chariot energy. This is a weird reading. I don't know if this is you or somebody around you. You know this what's going on. Who's this Queen of Swords? Hanging on, communication, page of wands, and lovers. Queen of Swords again. So it could be definitely an air sign. Wow. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, if this is you or whoever. Now again, this may be someone that you're dating. Like let's say you're dating this man. Um, and this is their other partner, their ex, their, or their person they're married to. This could be what's going on. So it's like not even really in your life, but if you saw this and this resonates, you know who all these people are. That's what I'm kind of thinking too, for some of you. Queen of Swords is very demanding. So it may not be air sign. She's just freaking demanding. And again, this could be you. This could be somebody else. Look at, as I'm saying it, Queen of Wands is flipping around. No, stay in there. I don't need more people, please. Okay. How do you feel about the situation or the person? I'm assuming this is, you know this who this is. The sun, you're happy. How do they feel about you? They're the king of, no, they like you too. Okay, looking right over at you, they're happy. Okay, so you feel like this person is your son. Six of coins, chariot, the three of coins. Guys, this may not be your reading, but just heads up, if you're dealing with somebody, they may be a Leo, um, there could be a third person involved in the situation. It feels like this is someone who gives very little and then they move on to someone else. They keep you, in a sense, but they work a lot or they um, entertain other people. I'm not saying they cheat necessarily third party, but they definitely seem to give very little and then they're kind of like distracted by other things. Uh, they may buy you nice things if this is you, six of coins in a card. Um, this can mean buying a car. This can also mean buying a plane ticket. But what is the king of wands? As I thought, this person of you is very attractive and hot. Like the two of you should be together. You guys are both very attractive people. I knew that queen of wands was going to come out sooner or later. So we have all these people here. So um, this person kind of views you as a prize. I'll be, if this is you, this person views you as a prize. Like they want to win at all costs. If this is how you're feeling, you are. You, it does appear like you are the winner. I, am, I think there are a lot of people though showing up here. What is the outcome? Nine of coins, nice lifestyle. What is the nine of coins or being single? This could be single also. Well, this is someone being single. This is someone saying, you know what? Screw this. This isn't worth it. This person's a player. I'm seeing things differently. They're going to leave me heartbroken or someone else. So I'm going to just be nine of coining it. Thank you. Um, Guys, I think this is a third person in the mix, and this Queen of Swords is not you. There may be several other queens besides you. This could be a player. I think this is a player who you know the game, and you can play it, and you may even win, but still there's other women or men here in the picture that there's too many queens for them all to be you. Queen of Swords can be an ex, and she can be a very cold, bitchy ex, so it could be that also this queen is demanding money. This ex could be part of the problem. So if you're dealing with this King of Cups, they have a lot of people in their life that they got to pay out. They got to do. Oh, so this may be why they're vulnerable. You may be moving on Scorpio Nine of Coins. You may be saying, screw this. I don't need this. I don't need this drama. Even though you maybe you see this person, there's potential and happiness. They um, may not stick around. You know, they because if they're feeling vulnerable, you guys, they may be trying to win you back at whatever cost. Once they win you back, what are they going to do? This person... They, you may be withholding karma like that's supposed to come uh, come to them because how do I explain this? Getting out of the situation, this person probably has some negative karma coming to them because of everything they're doing. All right, 
they may be hurting a lot of people in the process and playing this game. But you getting back into the game with them, it could be like withholding karma that's coming to them naturally. That's not good. You know, they're going to be paying the price. And it's not saying you're going to be hurt by it. I'm not saying you have bad karma. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's kind of the game keeps getting played. When the game stops, that's when the karma is going to hit them. They may end up with no one. They may end up, you know, anything. I don't want to, who knows. Ten of swords. Maybe, they're, maybe this is them with their karma. This could be them with their karma. Maybe if you say no, that is their karma coming to them. Um, don't worry about that too much though. If you don't want to get involved in that, it's, it has nothing to do with you. It's just like, to me, I think those step away from the game and you'll be, you're fine. They're not. So again, it definitely could be a water sign who's masterminding all this or somebody's very emotionally manipul manipulative or money manipulative. So if this is you, actually I keep repeating myself. I don't want to. Let me pause here for a moment. I'm hoping this makes sense to someone. I'm sure it does. Yeah, so I think you get the gist of it. And I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a really good week, Scorpio. And I'll talk to you soon.